Hi everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and welcome to my continued coverage of the Apple iPad. Now in this video I'm going to be doing a general look at how gaming is on the iPad. Can this new device from Apple really change the way that we actually enjoy and take part in games? Now, at the moment you're seeing my screen of games. I've looked at a lot of games on the iPad since launch and these are the ones that have remained installed on my particular device. Now some of these you'll have seen in separate reviews but I'm going to dip into each of them now and just show you a brief overview of how gaming is on this brilliant new device from Apple. Now first of all we've got the likes of Asphalt 5. This is from Gameloft. Nice introduction. Tap on done and we're going to go into the game good and proper. Now the gaming on Asphalt 5, very good fun, uh, excellent graphics, this is a racing game. We're going to quick race just for speed for the review and a very pleasing way of picking up an iPad, having a quick race, uh, great great fun the controls I was at first worried about, but actually, because it auto accelerates, it's not too bad. Now you're using the accelerometer, so it feels a bit strange having to tilt the iPad to actually steer your vehicle. I've got the boost down here. I've also got a brake if I need to brake. I can pause the game up here. I can resume. Now I've got medium sized hands and I don't know if you noticed there where I paused it it's quite a stretch to get into this middle section but for smaller hands that would be almost impossible you'd end up having to hold it with one hand and then reach into the middle but once you're actually gaming the actual controls that you need to gain access to i.e. the brake and this boost are really easily accessible. So racing games on the iPad this one in particular, really, really nice. Um, for smaller hands, might be a little bit tricky because the iPad is quite big to hold. So let's go back out to that home screen and we're going to go into Bejeweled 2. Now Bejeweled 2 is actually an iPhone game. There's not an iPad specific version of this. As such, as you saw there, it doesn't rotate round. Perhaps it will when we're in the main game. Now this is a puzzle type game, so very easy to pick up and have a quick go of. It's going to classic. The idea is to get three matching symbols to touch each other, then they disappear, the rest of the symbols cascade down. Now this sort of game on the iPad, very addictive, very easy to pick up and play. Wonderful graphics and a real uh, uh, benefit of the iPad is the fact that you can just pick this up and have a quick go for five minutes and not lose too much of your day to an application. Shame it's so addictive because you do have to keep having another go to try and beat your previous score. Would it rotate? Yes, once in game it does rotate so you can play it either landscape or portrait. Now as I mentioned this is actually an iPhone app so I'm playing it at two times screen. It should actually be played at this particular uh, magnification. So Bejeweled 2, nice puzzle app. Puzzle gaming on the uh, iPad is a real joy actually. Really, really uh, impressed with it. Now let's go on to something like Chop Elite. This is by Magic Jungle Software. This is a free version, so not many levels in this free version. Start a new game. We're going normal just for the demo. And this one again using the accelerometer of the iPad. And you can go down and pick up the people that are stranded in your little helicopter but and I'm going to show you this now in the f uh, further levels on in the game you do actually have to drop bombs and the buttons are actually located up here for dropping the bombs so if I have to fire I have to tap on this one if I want to drop a bomb I have to tap on this one uh, and if I want to hold the iPad properly I have to hold it down here and it all gets a little bit tricky trying to get up to buttons at the top so you'll really going to be playing this with it on either a table as I've got here or on your lap to be able to access all of the controls and imagine if you've got even more controls on the screen it becomes even more difficult so a good game don't get me wrong 
but again for smaller hands the iPad's a little bit unwieldy to get to all of these extra buttons. So let's pop back out to that main home screen and then we've got Tap Tap Radiation. This game is absolutely fantastic, really enjoy playing this and this is one where you're tapping on the screen uh, to the rhythm of the music. Let's uh, start a new game. We're presented with some tracks to play. You'll have seen my full review of this, so I'm not going to play through the whole level. Let's put it on medium. I'm going to miss some notes because I'm concentrating on the camera at the same time. But again, this is one where you're going to be sitting it on your lap to play. You're not going to be holding it because you need to be able to reach this middle bubble. And if I was holding it, I'll give you a demo of that in a minute. Uh, I wouldn't be able to reach it, and that's with my size hands. Imagine somebody with little hands. So let's pause that. Now we've got a middle button bubble coming in here. So I'm going to hold this with my medium size hands. I can only just reach the, the resume button there in the middle, and I've got to tap this middle bubble whilst holding the iPod, iPad. Sorry, and it's almost impossible. So again, for small size hands, you're going to be using this on your lap. You're not going to be holding it whilst you're playing games. That said, as, I, as, as you'll see in my full review of this game, absolutely wonderful game, brilliant graphics, and again, so simple, yet very addictive. So let's come out of that. We go back to the main home screen. We've got Nova HD. Haven't done my full review of this yet. This is another game loft game. And this is a shooting game. Let's uh, skip past the intro. And they've done a really good job with the controls, actually. Let's tap the screen and we'll do a continue because I've already been playing this. And sit, sitting it down on your lap is really good because you can use the finger controls here. So I've got a joystick for going backwards, forwards, left, right. I've got a shoot button. Um, it's actually strafing. Uh, left and right and just getting myself pointing in the right direction that's tricky on these shooting games I've also got extra things up here to touch I've got like grenade which you do a two finger motion on and you also got the option of swapping weapons up in the top right hand corner so I've got different weapons there as well now the trouble with this is is you really got to again have this on your lap because you're going to need your fingers all different parts of the screen if I'm holding it, I'm not going to be able to access them as easily because I have to keep shifting my hand up on the iPad. But anyway, let's carry on. So I'm turning this corner. As you can see, it's a little bit tricky. You have to keep on, um, you have to keep on sort of adjusting your movement. And we're going round into here. And I've got something to shoot at. You can see the the actual um, aiming is quite difficult go through here, I've got to wait for this to let me through and the game continues and I'm not going to show you too much of this because I'm going to be bringing you a full review of this but uh, as you can see it's a little bit tricky to aim and a little bit tricky to control and, and if I have to get up to these controls as I said you'll end up sliding your hand up the iPad but overall a very nice experience now Plants vs Zombies probably one of the biggest selling games on the iPad at the moment really really addictive game fantastic graphics again haven't done my full review on this let's go back into my adventure I'm protecting my house and my backyard from the zombies I have to choose which weapons I'm going to use and start it going I haven't selected anything particular on this one and then I have to plant things in my garden so I'm planting a mushroom that creates sunshine, the sunshine gets me points and allows me to buy more things to protect my house from the zombies. So a very quick overview of the game for you there. Controls, absolutely fantastic. If I'm holding the iPad, there's no way I can reach up to touch these icons at the top. So this is one where you're either going to be holding it one-handed and tapping away, or you're going to have it on your lap. But this sort of uh, game here, this sort of strategic game very well done and a, a real pleasure to actually play so let's pop back out onto the main screen into air hockey this is absolutely fantastic really needs to be played around this way we can choose between one player two player or bluetooth play 
did try this over Bluetooth and it was a little bit jerky. So let's just stick it into one player just for this particular one. We can choose one or two pucks. And you're controlling the puck by moving your finger around the screen. Again, you're going to be having this either on your lap between two players or you're going to be holding it one-handed. You're not going to be playing this uh, holding it because there's no way you can reach over the other side of the iPad. And the idea is we've got a simple air hockey table to play air hockey on. Fantastic game, really easy to play, lovely graphics, and I'm not doing very well. <laughs> I'm looking at the camera at the same time, but you get the idea. And it's a really nice uh, game to play, just pick up and have a quick game with somebody. Uh, but again, you're going to be using the iPad on a table or on a lap to play this sort of game. Let's pop back out to the main screen again. I'm not going to show you uh, Harbour Master, but I'm going to show you Words HD. And I think this sort of game is where the iPad is going to come into its own. This is like Scrabble. You can set up games with uh, people you know or with previous people that you've played. You've got a scrollable list here. It's got games at the bottom that have actually finished. Uh, two here where I won and one where I lost. And then you've got ongoing games. And these that games can go on over days and days. Uh, you, you take your play and then it's up to the other person to then lay their tiles on the board. When it's your move, the game moves up into this section here. So I'm going to tap on this one. This is one I'm playing with Miss Merry. And again, I'm going to be doing a full review of this Words with Friends application. But the idea of it is you're going to have a look at your tiles here and you're going to try and make a decent word with a good score. Put it down onto the board like so. Tap play, tap submit. It scores it. So I scored 18 for that. And now it's over to the other person. This could be anywhere in the world. I'm not sure where Miss Mary is actually located. And and I'm playing them with with them playing this either on an iPod Touch or an iPhone or an iPad. And I've got a nice large board on mine though because I'm lucky enough to be playing it on an iPad. Really addictive game this. Scrabble I've heard is even better in the fact that you can have an iPod Touch and an iPhone actually throwing the tiles onto the onto the main playing area. Uh, so I'm really keen to have a look at that. If I want to create a new game, I'll just tap on Create. And let's go for random opponent. And it's found me an opponent called Shani Naomi. I can even send a message while we're playing. So I can say hi there. Doing a review. Which country are you in? Send that message. Tap back on the board. And then I can put my uh, word down. So I'm not going to be uh, doing any particularly fantastic word. Let's do mode. I'm sure a lot of you will pick up on better words I could have put down than that. Click submit. And then if that person wants to respond to my chat, I'll get a little icon here showing that there's uh, a, a response to my message. And then I can go back into my games and wait until I've got more moves to play. Now this also pushes out notifications to the device. So if I actually come out of the application, I'm probably not going to be able to demonstrate this to you in this video, but if I'm doing something else now, perhaps an email, surfing the internet, something like that, if somebody else makes a move on that Words HD game, I will get a notification saying it's now my move on that particular game. So this is gaming on the iPad. We've got action games such as shooters. We've got these addictive music type games. We've got games like Asphalt 5 and Chopper Light that mean you have to pick up the iPad and move it around to use the accelerometer. You've got these strategy games like Plants vs. Zombies. And then you've got things like the puzzle games, Words HD. How fantastic is that? So apart from it being a little bit unwieldy for small hands, I think the iPad is absolutely fantastic for gaming. Well, thank you very much for listening. Please do come back soon and check out more video reviews on the Geek and Noise channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.